हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन अल्डीहाइड कीटोन्स कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड पार्ट 17 इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फी डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी फ्रॉम एग्जाम नाउ विल डिस्कस ऑक्सीडेशन टेस्ट टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन अल्डीहाइड्स एंड कीटोन्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट अल्डीहाइड्स डिफर फ्रॉम कीटोन्स इन देयर ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन इनफैक्ट अल्डीहाइड्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव राइट वी हैव टोल्ड दैट अल्डीहाइड्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव देन ketones as far as oxidation is concerned because aldehydes are easily oxidized by common oxidizing agents for example hno3 kno4 k2cr2 o7 even the mild oxidizing agent for example toluene agent phenylene agent these agents also oxidize aldehydes to carboxylic acids so i have aldehydes it can easily be oxidized to carboxylic acid even by the mild even by mild oxidizing agent right and mild oxidizing agents are like toluene reagent phenylene reagent and the strong oxidizing agent will obviously oxidize but even mild oxidizing agents will oxidize them but the ketones ketones they are oxidized only under vigorous condition vigorous condition if you are using mild oxidizing agent or you have to use strong oxidizing agent high temperature then only the ketones gets oxidized because in this case you have to break these bonds right and you get rcoh and rc rcs2 something like that but it is it needs vigorous condition to oxidize but aldehydes oxidize pretty easily thus there are two tests actually tolens test and phenylene test to differentiate between aldehydes and ketones let's differ, let's understand tolens test so typical reaction for this tolens test is also called silver mirror test by the way is you have rcoh that is my aldehyde and you have agns3 to plus and happens in the basic medium so oh minus it gives rcoo minus you see this is my carboxylic acid plus silver plus water and ammonia this is my if you see this is my silver so i get the silver lining on the tube test tube this is also called silver mirror test and happens in alkaline medium alkaline medium so if we have to differentiate between aldehyde and ketone very simple just go for tolens test so if you get the silver lining on the test tube it is aldehyde if you don't get if there is no reaction it is ketone so now we'll discuss about phenylings test this test is also used to differentiate aldehyde and ketone so phenyling solution first before we discuss phenyling test this is my phenyling solution actually but on the right hand side this is my phenyling solution the whole thing is phenyling solution and it has to be freshly prepared right so it contains this complex copper tartrate it's a complex copper tartrate you see it's copper here it's a complex copper tartrate and it is prepared by mixing two solution phenyling a and phenyling b phenyling a is nothing but my copper sulfate there is nothing but copper sulfate solution which is blue in color and phenyling b is nothing but my sodium hydroxide and uh, potassium sodium tartrate also called rochelle salt this is my potassium sodium tartrate so it is called potassium sodium tartrate so you have to mix this in the same ratio one is to one ratio and you get this complex solution complex copper tartrate this is called phenylene solution right and the beauty of this is solution is 
it will again oxidize its oxidizing agent it will oxidize aldehydes to carboxylic acid correct so this solution as such is almost blue in color so if you talk about the whole solution it's almost blue in color but when it oxidizes to carboxylic acid it gives red brown ppt it gives actually cu2o that is nothing but <coughs> red brown precipitate so if we get red brown color by filling solution that means it is a aldehyde and please note aromatic aldehyde don't respond to this test so if if you have a aromatic aldehyde you see it will react to tollens test but it will not react to felling test so till now what we have studied we have studied tollen test and we have studied felling test you remember this so tollen test is all aldehyde no ketones and filling test is uh, non aromatic aldehyde or you can say aliphatic aldehydes so these are the two tests we have studied so with this test we will solve some questions where we will be asked to find out compound which reacts with test a test b stuff like that just remember this tollen test all aldehyde filling test non aromatic aldehydes the next is oxidation of ketone haloform test so this is only for methyl ketone please note this is only for methyl ketone methyl ketone actually so we have a methyl ketone cs3 here this is the methyl ketone right when you treat with halogen any halogen and sodium hydroxide solution it will oxidize this uh, ketone to carboxylic acids which will have one carbon less because the ch3 will go off and this becomes chx3 and x can be anything chlorine fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine yeah. x can be chlorine bromine or iodine this is used to detect methyl ketone group right for example i'll take you you have the ch3 CH double bond. Let's suppose this test. This is my methyl ketone because ketone is a methyl group. You add some chlorine, NOH, you add 3 chlorine. What you get is nothing else is broken except this ONA and it becomes CHCl3. Correct. This is only used for methyl ketones thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching